around here. We still have a red flag warning active until 7 o'clock tonight. Fremont County, the Wet Mountains, Wet Mountain Valley, Sangre de Cristos, down to New Mexico, still very dangerous across those areas. If a fire should start, it'll be very dangerous to uh, uh, try and contain that fire. So anyone that sees smoke, please report it to local law enforcement as quick as you can. Here's what the wind is doing. Sustained at 21 and 18 right now in Colorado Springs. We are gusting up to 29 miles per hour. That's out of the north. That's that cold front coming through. And here's the good news. Behind that cold front, humidity values are coming up dramatically. We were in the teens earlier today. Right now, 59 and 43 percent. A bigger, stronger storm to deal with over the weekend. Yes, there's snow on the way. More on that coming up, Rob. Mike, thanks for the cost of fight these wildfires in Colorado has already surpassed hundreds of millions of dollars and it covers an array of personnel and services. Meteorologist Alex O'Brien continues our coverage breaking down how that money is allocated. The cost of wildfires is difficult to measure. Some are intangible, like the physical toll of wildland firefighters, the emotional toll of residents fleeing their homes, and the physical monetary cost. Over half a million acres have burned so far this year in Colorado, including three of the largest fires in state history. Most likely, given the amount of acres we've burned this year and the number of fires we've had, it's probably up there as one of the, the higher cost fire seasons in Colorado's history. Rough estimates so far, 214 million federal dollars and counting. And this has been planned for. I don't, I don't feel like there would be a day that we wouldn't be able to respond because we don't have um, the funding to do that. So far in 2020, the Department of the Interior has spent over 67% of its wildland fire suppression budget, meaning that we have not gone over the pot of money that was designated for wildland fire suppression. The annual wildfire management budget is funded through tax dollars. These funds go to the Department of Interior and the U.S. Forest Service. Then they are allocated to their bureaus and state offices. Cost of suppression is what we call it is definitely higher than anything else um, that we do, whether it's post area rehab, whether it's preparedness, which is kind of that, you know, just the fact that we're here and that we staff. Where more support is needed is for wildfire victims and animals, as well as local volunteer fire departments. Fire suppression is costly, which is why we're always asking people to be incredibly careful with anything that could cause a wildfire, because on average, about 87% of all wildfires every year are caused by people. Always watching out for you, Colorado. Meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5.